Continue learning Rabbi Yoyna's Pirush on Meseches Avais. And we are in the middle of the fifth Mishnah in the second parak. Hillel continuing to teach us different entities. A boar is not a Yerichei, Tamar is not a Chas, and you can't be embarrassed to learn. One cannot teach if he's a captain. And he continues now in the fifth Mishnah of local Amar Bebis Chayra Machim. And not everyone who has excessive business will become wise. Says Rabbi Yoyna, what does that mean? If you're involved with business, call Ayoyim all day. And you didn't listen to Shir Mago. And you made what, Keva? Not the timer. Tayra is not primary in your life. You made your business primary. You won't become wise. Interesting choice of words. Doesn't say necessarily you won't become a Tamil Chacham. That's obvious. But you won't become wise. You won't become a Chacham because by focusing, with laser focus only on one's materialistic pursuits, it's impossible for him to become wise. He concludes the Mishnah of and a place where are no men. If there's no one else, you got to step up, be the man. Says Rabbi Yoyin, appear sure he shine himself. In a place where there's no one to inspire you to do mitzvahs or to give you musr, be that man. What does that mean? Give yourself mitzvah. If you're not doing what's right. Pirish number one. So number one, if there's no one to tell you what to do, tell yourself what to do. Give a good, cold, hard look in the mirror and say, is this who I should be? Is this what I want to be? Is this what I aspire to be? Is this what my children think I should be? And if not, then we have to figure out what to do more. You see a generation where Tyre is weak, Amod, get up, get up and learn Tyre. It's a time to act for Hashem because they've desecrated the Torah. What is the reason? Why is it a time to act for Hashem? Because they're desecrating the Torah. This is what we learn from the beginning to the end. We have to darshan. So we see it in the brachas. So Pshat number two. So Pshat number two is if you don't see enough people learning, that's it. You got to be the man. Sit down and learn. And further, we can explain. If you're in a place where there's no one greater than you, do not refrain from becoming wise. There's no one wiser than you. There's no one wiser than you. There's no one in the old dar. You should view yourself as if. You're with the people in the times of the Talmud and you can be like them. And even when you reach their level, you should think that you're standing with the Nevi'im and Moshe Rabbeinu Allah V'shalom. What am I going to reach? His incredible level. You'll never become weak. You'll never become lazy from learning. You always fix your emidois. And you'll be like an overflowing spring. So I don't think any of us are close to worrying that we're the greatest in our dar. Perhaps the greatest in your shul, in your community, in your immediate, and even if not, within your immediate friends. In your little community, if you're the greatest of your little chavra. So you got a you got to work to be lahachim. To be a little bit more, to be the one that's not sharing the stupidity and not sharing the vanity of the world, but rather be the source of inspiration, the source of Taira, the source of wisdom to those around you. We continue with Mishnah Vav, says the Mishnah, He once saw a floating skull, who's floating on the water. He said to it, Al Because you drowned others, Atfuch, you got drowned. The saif, and in the end, mitafayich yitufun. Those who drowned you will also be drowned. Says Rabbi Yoyna, al sharak tavigaram telasev galgulas and harag, because you murdered someone and caused the skull of your victim to be in the water. Haragucha veitzifa galgultech. Therefore, you were killed, and now your skull is floating. But still, those who did it to you didn't do appropriate. It's if they spilled innocent blood. It's not in your hand. It's not in my hand. It's in no one's hand. To kill a murderer. 
How important are these words? How often do people say, what do you mean he deserves it? What do you mean it's coming to him? It's true maybe. But you're the Bezdin. You're the Rav. You're the one that's supposed to take that action. And if you do take action, you're Chayav Misa. It's not in your hands. And therefore, at the end, you're going to have done to you, like you did to others. And you're going to be guilty, will be even more guilty, because you took matters into your own hands. It's not your place to do such. Leave it to the best, etc. Pick it up from Mishnah Zayin in the next year.